In this video, we're going to talk about the Social Security Disability 5-month wait period. Before we do that, if you're watching this video for yourself, a friend, a family member, know that this is general information. I cannot give you advice in the comments section. If you're watching this video, this is a complicated process. You may need help with your case. You may have specific questions. Feel free to reach out to us. Send us a message through our website. Send me an email. Call us. We're here to help you. Okay, now let's dive in and talk about the five-month wait period. So the five-month wait period doesn't make a lot of sense, but it exists. There are some mumblings in Congress that they may get rid of it. The five-month wait period applies for Social Security Disability Insurance benefits only. There is no five-month wait period for Supplemental Security Income benefits. This is complicated, but some people are eligible for both benefit programs temporarily, meaning you can get SSI for the first five months, and then SSDI will kick in. You do need to qualify for SSI and meet those income, or rather lack thereof income, requirements. What is the five-month wait period? The five-month wait period requires that the first full five months after you become disabled and stop working, you are not eligible for benefits. So I'm going to make up a story. You become disabled January 2nd, 2023. They don't include the month of January. They count February, March, April, June, July. That's the first month you are eligible for Social Security disability benefits after the five-month wait period begins. If you have questions, need help, please feel free to reach out to us. I'm Sean Good with The Good Law Group. Thanks for watching this video.